Hi, now here's an example where we have to use a suitable approximation to a probability distribution. And if you haven't tried this already and like to give it a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's just read through this first of all. What we've got is the probability of an electrical component being defective is 0.075. And the component is supplied in boxes of 120. And using a suitable approximation, we've got to estimate the probability that there are more than three defective components in a box. And then in the second part, we're told that a retailer buys two boxes of components, and we've got to estimate the probability that there are at least four defective components in each box. Well, the first thing I'd want to do for part A anyway is just to define a random variable. Let's say we call it x. So let's say let x be the random variable we'll say RV for short in the usual way and what we've got here is a discrete random variable so that means it's going to be the number of and in this case it's going to be the number of defective okay components so we we'll just define that first of all and then we've got to ask ourselves what kind of distribution does it follow so we'll say where x is distributed. Now what we've got is a finite number of trials, 120. A component can either be defective or it can be good, so we've got two outcomes. And assuming that probabilities are independent, the probabilities remain constant, okay, then we can say that x is distributed binomially. And there's two parameters for binomial distribution, n and then p. n is going to be 120, and p, the probability of a defective component, is going to be 0.075. OK, so that's our probability distribution. But we've got to use a suitable approximation to estimate the probability that there are more than three defective components in a box. Now, in earlier tutorials, and if you missed these, you can always go on my website, examsolutions.net, there's tutorials about approximating a binomial distribution. Now, if n was large, greater than 50, and the probability p was less than 0 0.1, then this could be approximated to a Poisson distribution. And we've got that case here. So I'm going to write that since n is greater than 50 and p is less than 0 0.1, then what we've got is that then x okay, can be regarded as distributed as a Poisson distribution. And a Poisson distribution has only one parameter, the mean. And the mean is the same as the mean from the binomial distribution, NP. In other words, 120 times 0 0.075. And if you work that out, it comes to 9. So X is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of 9, and we should put approximately afterwards. I'll just write it for short as approx, OK? Because in reality, it's a binomial, but we're just using the approximate distribution here. So when it comes to working out then the probability that x is greater than 3, okay, we're being asked the probability there are more than three defective components in a box, then clearly I can't go x is 4 plus 5 plus 6 and so on, okay, not if I'm using a Poisson distribution as an approximation here. So I've got to do 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. All right? And to work this out, I could either use the formula for the probabilities from a Poisson distribution, but that's going to take a lot of time. When we've got a mean of 9, it's bound to be in what we call 
the cumulative Poisson distribution function tables. And I've got an extract here, okay? These tables you'll find generally in your formula book or set of statistical tables, okay? What you do is you look up the mean, lambda, being 9, look down for your observed value being 3, and under that you should see 0 0.0212. And that gives us the probability then of x being less than or equal to 3. So what we've got here is then 1 minus 0 0.0212. And if you work that out, you end up with 0 0.9788. Okay? Right, well, we'll just border that off, okay? And we'll move now on to part B. Now, in part B, let's just put part B here, we're told that a retailer buys two boxes of components. Estimate the probability that there are at least four defective components in each box. Well, I like to think of this as a tree diagram. You don't necessarily have to draw the tree diagram, but it's just here to offer some assistance. I've got my two boxes, the first box and the second box. And when I look in the first box, there can either be more than three defective components. In other words, at least four defective components. Or less than or equal to three defective to components. And the same applies when I look into the second box here. So when it comes to working out then the probability, we'll just write it down here, of the number of defective components being at least four, that's greater than or equal to four, in, okay, we'll just write in each of two boxes. then that probability is going to be worked out as being the probability x is greater than 3 multiplied by the probability that x is greater than 3. So we just write that here, x is greater than 3 multiplied by the probability that x is greater than 3. And we've seen what this is, it's over here, 0 0.9788 and we need to square that, okay, and what does that give us? Well it gives us quite a long decimal actually, 0 0.9580.4944 and I'd want to round that up to some degree of accuracy, so I'm going to round it to three significant figures and it would be 0 0.958 then to three significant figures, 3SF for short. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then across that question, right?